Mr. Nguyen, I'm here to show you how to add a filter in our oscillator circuit, which are, as you can see, our circuit doesn't have a filter. If you already have a filter built in, then you should be okay. But for us, unfortunately, we don't have a filter, so we have to modify to add a filter into the exhalation tubing, so that way we can trap all the, especially the COVID-19 going on right now. So first of all, so our very basic setting for our um, premature baby here, so with a mean of 14, delta 28, 33% with a hertz of 12, and our center piston. So our challenge is how to add this filter that we currently have in here somewhere around here, uh, but requires some additional connection. So let's swing over here. So this is all the supply and part that you would need to get it started. So I have one extra filter. Later on, I'm gonna show you how to change it out. So of course, you're gonna have, you need two of this, RT010 from Fisher & Kel. Two pack of that. You need a filter, of course. And unfortunately, I'm using the Safe Star 55 from Draeger. But if you have any other filter, that should work as fine as a HEPA filter. And it, the good thing that I have is little um, um, gas line port, but I'm gonna use this port as a water um, drainage, okay? And you can also get this tubing line with a stopcock. Nurse has a bunch of this. You can get excess from nursing. Or uh, since our ECMO have plenty of this, um, I'm using this from the ECMO. And you need, you know, five or 10 ml of syringes to start. And then you also need a marker, a scissors, and we use a pre-measured uh, six inch measuring tape to measure on our circuit so that way we can cut. So before we do all of that, let's prep everything first. So I'll go ahead and mark my line just to have everything ready. Um, usually I'll leave a little bit over the edge right here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it right here and I'm gonna cut it right here. So it's, it's best if this is not on the patient yet and about to put on, you do all of this. But if patient already on it and you wanna convert, so this is also a best way to do. And then let's move back to the stuff here. Let's get all everything ready to go. So I'm gonna need two out of three pieces in here. We don't need this offset port looking. You need the 22 millimeter that will fit right here. And then that will fit right here. And then on the second one, I only need the center port and the rest can be thrown away. So this is how it looks like. Then I'm gonna go ahead and connect my drainage port so that way I won't forget later on. And make sure it's tight so that way it doesn't pop out that easy. And then I put my Pansy syringe. So actually this setup is just to remove water condensation and you don't have to disconnect the filter to dump the water out from the oscillator. So there you go. All right, so now the step how to do this safely while patient already on and suspected PUI or even active COVID-19 patient and how to do it safely for our staff. So the first step is you're gonna have another th therapist to help you to uh, resuscitate the patient while we're doing this. And then what you're gonna do, you need to stop the piston, okay? Since this patient is on 15 liter flow, thick flow, we need to stop that by disconnecting from this end. So I'm assuming this is the safest way to not spraying anyone with disconnect. When we disconnect here, okay, then you go over to the patient. I'm gonna sign it back. You disconnect the patient, have our coworker therapist to back the patient while we're doing this. So now there's no more flow blowing. So all this contamination shouldn't be blowing at anybody. Of course, you're gonna pat it with some uh, washcloths or any kind of blankets right here. So I'm gonna reach over, grab me my scissor. I'm actually gonna cut where I mark and this piece gonna be thrown away. So I'm gonna cut here, cut, and I'm gonna cut here, cut, make sure you don't cut your finger, okay? Then, 
the best way to do this is face this downward and then make your connection and just push it in as much as you can to where you cannot move anymore usually about at least quarter inch or as much as you can work it in yeah, I, it's not going to come out if you yeah, and then make sure this up and then work this one in a little bit stiff there there we go work it in if you feel unsecure of how it looks you can always put a tie wrap around both ends so that way it doesn't come loose apart and that's how it looked like okay so now I'm going to repeat my step here my stop cock is closed and then when I'm ready I'm going to ready to connect so what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect first come over here get my flow back on pressurize my patient while the tube is still clamped and then start then unclamp the patient so this is I believe this will be the safest way from not spraying any contamination water aerosolized that's already contaminated the circuit so now you actually have a filter in that will filter out all the virus bacteria that and you should not worry about the um, the control cap mushroom so when water start build up all you have to do over here um, of course you have to know your stop cock um, which direction so right now this is off so it's off to here so all you have to do is turn the off button to the white port over here and that will open up for water so all you do is just pull to get the water out as much as you can and then off to the filter again then you can remove and dump this water out and possible get a new syringe and then have it ready for the next one okay if this if this filter for some reason is saturated with water and particles start building up to where you you have a hard time maintaining your mean and your delta then you kind of give you a sign this that you need to change this filter so this is the safest way I believe that you can do to change the filter and not spraying any viral on you okay so I would have my another pigtail ready connected which I don't have one here but I can show you okay so in order to do this safely, you will do the same step like you did a while ago. Okay, put stop the piston. Okay, what you can do is um, disconnect from the inspiratory limb. Okay, another therapist would help you right there. Just do a quick um, filter change. And if you do two person, that will be real quick. You don't even have to worry about that. Okay. And then connect. And then pressure up. And stop the piston. So this is how you change the filter uh, moving forward. You don't have to cut through the circuit anymore. And this is how we're going to set it up for our PUI and COVID-19 patient. Thank you.